Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> so, huh? I use a smart monitor, too. This is an apnea monitor. <laughs> it's a heart rate and breathing monitor. <laughs> it alarms if, you're if you have either a too low respir respiratory rate or no respiratory rate at all. Apnea. <laughs> it also alarms if you have too low of a heart rate or too high of a heart rate. <laughs> These two lights here, this one and this one, <laughs> blink to your heart rate, your heart rate, and your respiratory rate. <laughs> <laughs> the monitor gets these, the data from lead wires that go to a belt system. It's a lead and belt system. Here are two leader, lead wires. The white goes on the right. The left, or the black goes on the left. And they go to this belt. So, when this is on me, this goes on my chest, this part with the white goes on the right, and this part with the black will go on the left. <laughs> when using an apnea monitor, it's usually used for infants or toddlers, you know, especially preemies or patients with heart conditions that need special monitoring. <laughs> You don't see these too much in trach patients who are on ventilators. Now, if they have like a trach mask or a T-piece, then you, it might, it's not too uncommon to find one of these in a trach patient's <sighs> home. However, if they're on a ventilator, since the ventilators, you know, that's pretty much the apnea monitor because it's either assisting with breathing <clears throat> and or doing the breathing for the patient, depending on <clears throat> the respiratory or neurological disorder they may have and or genetic disorder. So, when you're using one of these, you have to do a self-test. Well, it's not really a self-test considering... Wait, let me zoom out. Okay. It's not really a self-test considering you take part in setting up the test, initiating the test. This is to check that the monitor, the leads, and the, electric, and the whole entire circuitry works properly. Do you see these holes right here? You'll remove the lead wires from the belt. And as you remember, white goes on right. So on the right of the monitor, in the very back, on the back, this back side of it, you see those two holes. What do you do? You're going to place these in those two holes. Now I go by feel, so let's hope I can do this. Okay, one, white to right. <laughs> I think my introduction in the video was too long, so I hope it gets at least one view. <laughs> and then black to left. <laughs> Make sure they are connected to the patient cable Make sure the patient cable is connected to the machine. Now, use this button to turn on the apnea monitor. This button. When you turn it on, it'll do a self-test, and it'll start the actual user test. Just testing the audible and visual setting, visual system. And now you see it's blinking. It's blinking to the heart rate and the respiratory rate. So we have, ah, uh, you can't see it well. In the iPhones, you can't turn the camera on while you are, I mean the LED flashlight while you're doing video. So we're blinking. Heart rate, it's probably is around 120. Respiratory rate, which is 60. And in a few minutes, it's going to test the alarm systems. So we'll just watch. 
See? LEDs went off. First of all, you're going to see the low heart rate alarm. Then you're going to see the apnea alarm. So just wait for that. Apnea. So notice the LED, the green LEDs aren't flashing. And why is that? Because in the self-test is testing a loss of vital a loss of a loss of vital sign. No heart rate, no respiratory rate. <clears throat> we'll turn this off. Now, even though I did it right, when you do the self-test, it sounds like you've triggered the sibling alarm. You haven't. As long as you see this, when you're performing the test, everything went well. If you don't see these LEDs, or you don't hear the alarm, when the LEDs stop flashing, and you don't hear the alarm, and or don't see these alarm lights, you need to call the person, the people, the DME service who brought you your smart monitor too and tell them, hey, I performed the test, the lead wire and the actual device test and they failed the test. Please come and uh, exchange this for a new monitor. <laughs> so this is why you need to perform the self or the lead wire <laughs> out of on visual test. Everyone like as soon like if you're changing a patient cable, if you're changing the lead wires in the belt, or if you're having issues, like if you're not sure what's going on. Obviously if you're seeing an alarm, first check the patient. If there are no signs, like if you they're breathing funny or they're breathing at a low rate. First stimulate the patient and then call for help. Call 911 immediately. Thank you. Have a good day. May God bless you and keep you. And remember, only he can love you perfectly.